Hi beauties, we're back. And we're in our second video of the day, filming all of the subscription boxes from July that I've been waiting for, uh, for my mom. So yes, if you guys are new, I do a thing called Ipsy versus Ipsy, where my mom and I both have Ipsy subscriptions. We both do standard, we both do uh, the Plus, and we both do the Glam Bag X on those months. So what we do is I take both of our subscriptions, I unbox them together, I look at the bags as a whole and I pick out which one was my favorite for the month. And then I create like my ideal bag from the 10 items that we received between the two of us and I pick out my five favorite items from all 10. So this is for July. Uh, I know it's now August as these are posting, but it is what it is. I now live like 30 minutes away from my mom. So it's a little bit of a struggle to get them all. Uh, but yes, yes, this is the standard. We just did the plus. And if you guys have been following our Ipsy saga for a while, you know my mom's pluses were god awful. And uh, last month, so many people were like, tell her to change her age. So she changed her age. She set her age 20 years below what her actual age is. And her plus was the best we've seen all year. The makeup options that she received uh, were night and day to what like literally she would get before she would get like maybe one or two like a mascara or something like basic makeup items that they would offer her as one of her choices which she would hardly ever choose she would normally choose skincare because she's like i don't need mascaras but the skincare is at least expensive and this month she got two palettes she had all these different options got makeup options that i hadn't even seen in my plus stuff yet so i was like that's crazy um so it definitely worked i'm interested to see how it also impacted her standard bag, excuse me. Without further ado, let's jump in. I don't remember anything about what I chose or any of that. Normally I, my memory is jogged, but I don't know. All right, also just a tangent, her showed up in this, right? It looks like the plus bag, right? And then I opened it up before we started filming because I wanted to like get them all pre-opened. And the little bag is inside the big bag. There's nothing wrong with the little bag. It didn't have a hole in it or anything. It, they didn't even pull off the label. It, no packing. Why? For what purpose? I love, as I told Nikki, I was like, I love how when they change the plus, they're like, well, we're gonna put it in bags now to save on like packaging and like help the environment. And then they like double bagged it for, for what? You did this for why? Anyway, their theme this month was stay golden. I think both the bags are precious. Uh, the cute little gold bag, very summery, so cute. Uh, I loved the plus bag as well. And I think this is a nice little match to it. I just noticed the like the little blue jewel on the, love it, love it. Big fan, huge fan, love it. First thing I see here, this is a 19 slash 99 high shine gloss. What does it do? What is it? What is this? Oh, it's just a generic gloss to make you shiny. So it can be used on your lips, eyes, or cheeks. Interesting. I don't normally play with my mom's products. Cause like, I, I don't know. I, I know we're like, you know, I came from her, but I just, it feels weird. I don't like to do that, but I am going to just see what this looks like. It literally looks like a clear jelly gloss. I don't know what the point of it is. Is it a bomb? Like it, I, yeah, I think it might be. Like it's just to moisturize, I guess. You can use it on your eyes, your lips, like anything on your face, I guess. Moving on. All right, next thing we have is a hand cream, a coconut milk hand cream. So far her bag is not looking that great. All right, this one is from, I always say Briogeo. I don't know if that's right. It might be like Briogeo. I don't know. I don't, it, I don't know. You guys know pronunciation of brands is not my strong suit, but I actually really love their products. Um, this is a Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. They have a couple sprays that do different things that I really, really love. I, I very much enjoy their products. So um, I actually really like this. I think that's a good product. Um, and I've been using hair masks a ton lately, trying to figure out, I, my scalp is still really rough. So I'm just like doing everything I can to try and like, figure out the best combination to help it. Especially with like the wedding coming up, I'm trying to like, I know I'm gonna have to go get it like actually cut by somebody who doesn't have just like kitchen scissors, which is what we used last time. Cause I'm a disaster of a human. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to like get my scalp back to somewhat healthy, but it's, it's a long road, but I've been using a lot of things like this. And so, and I think my mom actually has been as well, not for the same reason, just because she's been also just like experimenting with like different hair products and things like that. So I'm interested to see how it works. All right, so this is from Sophia and Mabel. This is an eyeshadow quad. And I know we've seen stuff from their brand before, but I don't, oh yeah, yeah, they, they do these kind of regularly, these like little eyeshadow 
quartets where you get the four shades and I actually really like them. I think they're great for like traveling. Like if you just wanna have like a couple little eyeshadows on hand, you can just throw them in your bag and then go and they don't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, nice little like just kind of uh, neutral colors. You've got the nice brown that you could use as like a base, the matte brown, then you've got um, two different variations of like a coppery and a golden deep dark uh, glitter shade. And then you've got this like nice light, like highlight shade, which is also glittery. So yeah, cute little quartet. I think it's a, I think it's a nice little product. And I, I always like to see those kind of things in our bag. So, uh, and then the next thing we have is Nanette Lepore. I think that, yeah, this is another, this is Luna. This is another fragrance, which you guys know, uh, I got, mom got a fragrance a couple months ago, loved it, smelled delicious. Um, somebody in the comments told me that it was like a hundred dollar perfume and I was like, damn, but she said that they do have a discount for Ipsy and I was like, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I have so many perfumes and I always buy like the big bottles and then they last forever. So it's like, I, I have trouble like spending money on perfumes unless I feel like I need it and I definitely don't need it right now. So I don't know. All right, I'm gonna spray it on me. I'm not wearing anything today, so. Oh, that one, that one smells good too. Oh my gosh. You wanna smell? <laughs> Nikki gave me the, so it's, he liked it too. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice fragrance. It's very um, clean smelling. I'm not a big floral person, so I like like notes of floral scents to them, but I don't normally go for ones that are like, oh, that's like overwhelmingly floral. So I'm trying to see if it tells us what the, the notes are. Oh, 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 nope, it does, it does, maybe. Oh, they gave us 50% off. If you go and buy it, I I might, I might. It's a clean sweet is the only, like people are always like, oh, like describe, and I don't know. It's like, like when people ask me to describe like the notes of stuff, I'm good at picking out like ingredients in food. Like I can be like, oh, there's cilantro in this, or oh, that's fresh basil. Like, I'm great at that. I can't do, I can't, for scents, I can't, nah, I have no idea. It smells, it smells good. It's appealing to me. I know what I like and what I dislike, but if you ask me to try and describe it, it's game over. Anyway, all right, here's how I feel about mom's bag. It's not bad. Perfume smells really nice. The eyeshadow quad is a nice product and um, the hair mask is nice. Uh, the hand cream I've talked about in the past, creams and stuff like that, neither one of us really use. That's a waste of a product for us. I don't even know what the hell the gloss is supposed to do. I, I'm not convinced that it's like, it it soaked into my skin, but my skin's also really dry. So I, I'm assuming it's some sort of a moisturizer. I don't know. Honestly, I think, I, even the eyeshadow palette's basic, like not trying to be mean, but it's just a basic eyeshadow palette. So I would say, honestly, the two best products are gonna be the hair mask and the, the perfume. So I just, I can't say it's a bad bag. It's not, it's not the worst bag we've seen, but it's not a great bag. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, I do remember. I remembered this morning in the shower, ironically, I remembered what I chose for my little bag yesterday while I was showering because I chose the Christopher Robin, I'm sorry, Christoph Robin, I keep saying Chris, like, what is this Winnie the Pooh? The Christoph Robin uh, hair mask because I got a big size of this, I think from a BoxyCharm and it's like my go-to thing now, I love it. I use it every day. I think I've been using it for like a little over a month and I'm it's on my full size jar is almost empty. So love it. So when I saw that this was one of the options to have like the mini version, I was like, well, you know, that's at least a couple hair scrubs. So I'll, I'll go ahead and choose this. So that's what I chose. Don't, I don't know what, or if mom chose anything, but that was my choice. And uh, yeah, that's all, I, that's all, that's all I got for you. I don't know what the hell else came in this. So let's see. They keep sending my mom perfumes and I don't know why. I'm a little jealous though, cause she's gotten two and like, I maybe even the past two months, like there might've been one month in between them, but I seem to recall opening a, parf a perfume pretty recently from hers. And I'm a little jealous because the ones that they've sent her are gorgeous scents. They're good sizes and I would absolutely take them in a heartbeat. So yeah. So I got a lot of little makeup pieces, which I do like to see. So the first thing I have besides my hair mask is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is a hundred percent vegan lip gel. I don't like the word lip gel. I don't like the gel part. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so cute. Now we've seen Seraphine Botanicals before. Some of their products I've used are okay. Their eyeshadow palette was kind of underwhelming, if I'm being honest. Um, I just didn't really love the formula. The colors were okay, but not great. So, eh. 
Uh, yeah, it's like a lip gloss. It smells really nice. It's, it's well, it actually kind of smells like this, like lip, lip gloss stuff that I had when I was a kid. I don't know, like, like one of those like jelly lip smackers or something like that. I don't like, it doesn't smell bad, but I feel like it doesn't smell bad because I'm having that nostalgia. It's like very scented, but it's clearly synthetic. Anyway, anyway, I digress. I don't really use lip gloss. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of matte lipsticks. I don't like sticky things on my lips. I feel like it's gross. I feel like every time I go near my face, I somehow end up like with sticky stuff on my hands or it's my hair's caught in it. I just, I, I, I tend to avoid them. So not necessarily my favorite uh, product to see is any sort of lip gloss, but it could be worse. Next thing we have is from uh, KVD Cosmetics. This is the Cake Pencil Intensely Rich Long Wear Eyeliner. It's a very small sample, so kind of hard to really do much with it. And I, I, you guys know, I don't wear eyeliner very often. I don't love eyeliners, like getting them. Um, but I actually really like the KVD formula for eyeliners. Um, I think, you know, even before they were bought out, they always had strong eyeliner. So, uh, yeah, yeah, not, not my favorite product, but not a bad one, I guess. Like, and we haven't really seen eyeliners much from Ipsy this year. So I'm not complaining too much about that. Uh, the next thing we have is from Nomad. Cosmetics, which I really like. Uh, they do a lot of these like little individual like eyeshadows and cheek colors and stuff like that. And oh yeah. So that's a little individual eyeshadow, really pretty like shimmer shade, uh, nice like golden color. I like it. Um, I like their formulas normally. So I think that's gonna be a nice little like, once again, if you're going out of town or something, you wanna throw like a nice little eyeshadow that doesn't take up a whole lot of room. I think that's a good option. And then the final thing I got is from, Shades by Shan, which I've never heard of before, but it is a highlighter in the shade Irma and it's gorgeous. Love that. Absolutely love that. Really nice pan size, really pretty, good classic highlight color. I really like that. So, okay. Overall feelings about this month, not the best, not the worst. I don't really love either bag, if I'm being honest. Um, even though mine's pretty makeup heavy, I like, honestly, besides my hair mask, everything is makeup, but the makeup pieces that I got, I don't think are some of like the best that we've seen recently. So if I had to pick a bag, I would pick mine just because those two products from moms are just, I just don't feel like she's gonna use them. I don't think I would use them. But if I had to assemble my perfect bag, I actually think I would do my Christoph Robin hair mask and mom mom's Briogeo uh, superfoods hair mask. So two hair masks, I know crazy, but I would do that. And then I would go with definitely her perfume. Perfume is delicious. Uh, her perfume, and then I'd go with my highlighter, my eyeshadow. Yeah, that's five. Not the best, not the worst. I don't know. Yeah, I can't complain too much. I mean, for 12 bucks, it's I, I, the bag alone is adorable. And the, I, the hair mask for me is worth it. So yeah, and I honestly, her perfume sample was amazing for 12 bucks too. So yeah, I don't know. That's how I feel. How do you guys feel? What did you guys think? Um, did you like the standard bag? Did Were your standard bags better? Were they worse? What do you think? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, do that. I don't think I said that in the plus video, but I, at this point, I feel like if you make it to the end of the video, you're probably already subscribed to us, but if you're not, you should be. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well. You're safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.